The International Brotherhood of Police Officers will represent all five Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies accused of excessive force in the case of Reginald Arrington Jr. The announcement came during a press conference at the Sheriff's Office this afternoon. Let's go to Channel 3's Joy Duke. She is live from the Sheriff's Office Annex with details. Joy. Well, Cindy, that video that has made its way around social media shows Arrington Jr. Uh, being hit repeatedly with batons by deputies who were responding to a suspicious person's call. Now, Vince Champion, the police union's vice president, uh, shared the sentiments of Sheriff Jim Hammond condemning the release of that video before as an open investigation is ongoing. The International Brotherhood of Police Officers is behind the five Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies the district attorney has asked the TBI to investigate. Corporal Brian Killingsworth, Sergeant Mickey Roundtree, and deputies Nick Dewey, Charlene Choate, and Todd Cook. We are the uh, organizations that represent the officers. We will be representing them through any of the uh, internal affairs or any other investigations that will go on. District Attorney Neil Pinkston released this dash cam video captured during an arrest in May. Uh, we believe that the process will should work and we will get a, an answer when the process is done. Pinkston called the video troubling. It shows deputies repeatedly hit Reginald Arrington Jr. with batons as he was handcuffed and on the ground. The deputies were responding to a suspicious person's call. It wasn't a beating. It was to try to get the compliance that it was needed and to use the force needed to affect the arrest that was used against the officers. Police union spokesman Vince Champion sided with Sheriff Jim Hammond condemning the release of the video during an open investigation. 95% of every video you've probably ever seen of a police involved arrest or shooting, it doesn't look good. I mean, our job just doesn't look good on video. But if you're not willing to put the whole context in that, you're not willing to have the due process of the investigation. Once you just put it out there and let the public make up their own mind, we've seen how that's going. According to an arrest report, Arrington Jr. was stopped for walking on the wrong side of the roadway and then giving deputies a fake last name. When they tried to arrest him, they say he reached for one deputy's weapon. What I, what I really saw, in my opinion, is um, a lot of restraint from, uh, from the officers. Arrington Jr. was charged with resisting arrest, assault on police, criminal impersonation, and pedestrian on a roadway. Those charges have since been dropped. Now, all five of those deputies remain on the job, and Champion says that the International Brotherhood of Police Officers is looking into its own legal options related to the release of that video. Uh, for once the investigation concludes, we've reached out to DA Pinkston's office for a comment and to find out information on what their policy is uh, when it comes to the release of video during an open investigation. We are still waiting to hear back. We're now live in Chattanooga. Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.